Hey everybody, I'm going to start by showing you yesterday's pour. Um, <clears throat> so this was the one that I used alizarin, a mix of blues, and yellow. So these three colors, and this is what I got. <laughs> um, so, it, you know, it wasn't... Um, exactly the colors I was looking for, but it's really pretty. I mean, just the, the, the flow of the colors are really neat. And after the camera turned off, I noticed in my um, little flip cup, I had a little bit left with some paint. So I just added, added like this line and then some stuff on the corners and I like it. So I'm glad I added those. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. And then this, I'm going to be painting over this today. Um, and it kind of looks like a whale, but it is, there, there's a lot of it that I do like, but more of it, there's a lot of it that I like in little parts, but not as a whole. Um, I mean, honestly, this little orange bit's my favorite. Um, a lot of it looks just um, um, baby shower. <laughs> I don't know why that's my always go-to eh, when it's pastel, but yeah. And I really have nothing against babies, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> so... I'm going to cover it up, hopefully with something with a little more hmm, depth or drama. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but like I like this little part and this little part, I think it's the pastels. I really don't like them when they get too um, pastel. So, I am using, again, the alizarin and the blue, but now I'm rethinking this. I'm rethinking that, and I'm thinking a touch of raw umber is going to do orange. Hmm. I thought I had it all worked out. Because I think this was one that I taped. I think I taped the sides and did a floating cup. And that will give you more of a pastel look because the white paint is thicker, so it's... Next, I'm looking at these three, and I'm not altogether sure I like that. Black? No, I don't like black and orange. Oh, I'm like, I have two raw umbers. One is made with gel medium. <laughs> it's like, why do these two paints look the same? I thought they had another color. No. I'm going to go with these. I think it's the orange or the... the ah! Because I also mixed up some dioxazine purple. A purple and orange. Those don't usually go together well. What if I did? With a touch of this and a touch of that. Let's go for it. All right, so these are all mixed 
with Floetrol and water. Um, as I said, this raw umber does have this uh, gel medium in it um, for the only reason in that I bought it to experiment with. Uh, but I haven't noticed that it works any differently than paint without. So just Floetrol and water. <laughs> this is the white paint that I use. And in here, I've already mixed it up with Floetrol and water. Um, I'm going to do my flip cup. You know, and then I was thinking, about filling this with white and then pouring the paints in and then just doing a pour. Because I kind of was thinking just wanting to do a dirty pour, but that's going to end up pastel, probably. Ah, a lot of thoughts, I'm telling you. This is not easy. Okay. So this blue has treadmill silicone in it. I don't know why I'm having such a color issue today. Goodness. I'm feeling a bit frazzled though, like in my life today. So maybe that's why. I, I'm just kind of feeling just, ah! So I came down here because painting usually centers me in so much as when I'm painting, I'm not thinking about anything else besides painting and babbling on to you guys. So painting is usually my best, uh, my best therapy. <laughs> I still laugh though at the one viewer who once commented that I'm not your therapist. I don't want to listen to you talk. <laughs> I don't even know who that was. But if for some reason you're still watching my videos, even though you seem to have hated them, you still crack me up with that. It, it just, I don't know why. I just find that so funny. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be an insult, but I took it as a joke. <laughs> So, anywho, you, you, really, that's how it is, though, in life. You know what? If you take it, <laughs> how, you know, it doesn't really matter how they intend it. If you take it in a different way, they, they can't, they can't, um, other people can't decide how you're gonna, going to understand what they say. And I'm not even sure if you understood what I just said. I think it was a really profound life lesson. So you may want to rewind, play, rewind, play, just to make sure you got it. And yes, I am old, rewind. I accidentally asked my husband if, because I was switching computers, if um, we were putting all my stuff on a zip drive. Yeah, I said it, not proud. And he's like, okay, 1990. <laughs> I mean, I've already told you guys I'm not computer literate, but I am more computer literate than that. But it was just... Uh. Yeah, because did I tell you my dad gave me his... He had bought a new computer and despised it because it was Windows 10. And he's pissed that he, he hates Windows 10 and wants Windows 7 back. So he refused to use it. And um, so he gave it to me. It's it's nice. It's one of those little Lenovo Yoga. It's like have like the touch screen and can flip it around like a tablet. It's so cool. And it's so light. My other laptop is old, so like it's heavy. <laughs> and the mouse, the pad on my computer, my other one didn't work. So I had to take my um, mouse pad everywhere with me. So I'm happy and he's happy because he was able to get rid of it because I didn't even know he didn't want it. 
I was using it at this house. I'm like, this is awesome. And he's like, well, I owe you money. Do you want to take the computer and I was like, all right, win-win. He's not out money and I get a new pooter. Oh my goodness, it's so cold in my basement. Had a heating cooling person out today for estimates because we need a new air conditioner. I mean, which seems silly to think about right now since it's cold, but it won't stay cold and I don't want to be hot. <laughs> I hate getting bids though, because everybody tells you something different and then you don't know who to believe. <laughs> Ugh, this thing is heavy. This is MDF, by the way. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter now because it already has a painting on it, but it was primed with gesso. Feels really heavy, or else I'm just really weak today, <laughs> which is a possibility. Let me tilt it down this way. It's slow moving white paint today. I am hoping I may end up with, um, I'm not having great luck lately painting over things. I'm tending to get, uh, I swear it's not, oh, um, like this MDF when I painted over it, it, um, got all those, um, like air pockets and then I did sand them out. And so the following, the third painting on it was good, but, um, so, and I just, uh, I've got a painting that I have varnished already that I do not like. Um, I even took it off Etsy. I just don't care for it at all. And I put gesso on it. But I really, that doesn't always turn out well after varnish and then gesso and then another pour. Sometimes it's just too much, I think. So here is my flip cup. And I flipped it. Woohoo! I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. I think I got the pastel look again. I can't seem to avoid it this week. I know what I'm going to do. Maybe. Oops. Bring 
bringing out the guns. I'm going to try something. I am so far loving this. Okay, I'm happy. I, so far, this is awesome. I am loving this. Let's see how, if, now you can see how I've been looking at it. <gasps> I do love it. Oh, the colors are awesome. Oh wow, that was exactly what it needed. So we do need quite a bit of um, paint to fill in these areas though, unfortunately. Trying to tilt it without ruining it, which is hard to do. <sighs> hmm. If there wasn't already, if this wasn't the second painting on here, I'd be tempted to leave it. Try and do Let's see if that will help it be able to tilt into that spot. Or no, when I just kind of screwed it up a little bit. Paint back. <laughs> Gosh, there's so much paint on it. I 
use this technique to try and rid the canvas of paint, but oh no. I knew that was bound to happen eventually. Well, that didn't work so swimmingly over there, did it? Cover it with a couple flingies. So now it's kind of uneven, but I think it will dry. Yeah. I really need to stop putting my hands in dirty paint and smearing it. I'm going to leave it and hope for the best. Because I really like it. Um, I don't know if this was... I can't believe what a different smack the mallet made. So, things for us to keep in mind as this dries is that I attempted to get paint off, but didn't succeed. So therefore, the paint is at a little bit different levels, which I've never left it like that before. I am assuming when it dries, it will all kind of level out. But we will see. And if not, since it is wood, I can sand it. So there you have it. I am really pretty happy with it. I may add a couple flingies. Um, Cause when I was looking through it just now, I'm like, I think it needs something. need a couple of flingies. All right. Well, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Click like and I'll catch you next time. Bye.